Hi everyone, my name is Ruby. I'm going to present about a capstone a module three project about a hotel booking cancellation prediction um, using machine learning uh, algorithms. So it will consist of uh, six parts. Um, first is the business problem, then data understanding, data pre-processing, uh, modeling the solution, and then a recommendation to have uh, better models. Uh, to start off, uh, I want to explain about the context of the data set. It's about a hotel booking's um, data uh, in, in a hotel. So there's a city hotel and um, a resort hotel. So hotel's revenue depends on the booking of each guest and groups. And it, it could come from direct booking to the hotel or a walking guest, conventional travel or uh, online travel agent or anything. So each, each sources uh, guests could be given uh, different prices depending on the demand uh, on each date, time of the year's events, supply of the rooms and uh, et cetera. So through this data, uh, I would like to predict the cancellation uh, rate. And by predicting this cancellation, uh, cancellation possibility of a guest, I would then forecast the rate of cancellation and maximize EDR by having an overbook. So an overbook is a condition where uh, a hotel uh, did more, open more bookings than the rooms they had. Uh, so if the rooms, if they have 100 rooms, they sell 110 rooms uh, as they forecast or predict that there will be 10% or 10 rooms uh, will, will be canceled by guests. So one of the challenges uh, experienced by hoteliers is booking cancellation as uh, there are a lot of cancellations. So money will be lost if uh, someone canceled as they will ask for a refund. So knowing and uh, estimate of booking cancellations to prevent hot the loss of revenue and increase revenue at the same time. Uh, as during a low season, uh, booking cancellation means that hotel needs to refund a certain percentage of a room rate uh, while on high season, knowing an estimate of booking could give hotels an overbooking opportunity, so there's more revenue to it. So uh, the goal is to find the most suitable model in predicting the cancellation probability of a booking. Models can be used in hotels or revenue management department or front office teams, or if the union has the demand forecast research itself, because every day they will have a demand forecast. So this is this will be part of it. So there's a cancellation policy. You guys could have a cancelable bookings or non-refundable uh, bookings. So this is two types of bookings. So in non-refundable, obviously, uh, the guests will have a cheaper price, a slightly cheaper price. But when they cancel, uh, they couldn't get any a refund. But uh, cancelable um, bookings, um, so uh, the guests could cancel. And within certain period period of time they will um refund um certain amount of uh, money so the analytic approach first of all features and columns that are available in this data set will be analyzed and patterns that affect the degree of possibility in looking at are up in so using a classification algorithm like like random forest extra boost and uh, can neighbors, but we won't be using can neighbors, just random forest, XG boost, and decision tree. Um, the evaluation metrics that will be used are accuracy, precision, uh, recall, and F1 score, but we will fo focus on precision and recall. We want to have a good accuracy score, but we uh, uh, doesn't want a low precision and recall. So it is still the aim. Three of this is the aim, as uh, type one error or two, type two error uh, will cause losses, both cause losses. So uh, I would like to have a high recall value and also a high uh, precision uh, value. Uh, just to uh, balancing both recall and precision will be uh, favorable. Uh, next to data understanding. So this data is obtained from Kaggle and that's the, uh, here's the, uh, link to it. So 
cooking information, detailed cooking information. It contains uh, around 100,000 rows with uh, 32 columns in the data set. So I would like to predict a booking whether it will be canceled or no using uh, machine learning. Here are the features. Uh, it's a basic features, basic uh, details of uh, hotel bookings, such as uh, type of hotel, the target of the uh, is canceled is the target here the second column and then there's a lead time uh, the time the time where the bookings came and then the arrival of the bookings uh, arrival date is year month week uh, how many days uh, guest days and then the number of adults children babies uh, what kind of meals uh, maybe a bed and breakfast or just the bed or half board and then the country of origin, market segment, distribution channel, um, uh, such as travel agent or um, online travel agent, etc. Uh, whether the guest is a repeat guest or not. Uh, and then previous cancellation, whether the guest has pre previously canceled the booking or not. And then previous bookings not canceled or successful bookings previously made. And reserve room type, design room type, uh, and then this is important, the ADR, so that's the uh, average daily rate of, the, of the, the room. So we get this rate from sum of all transactions divided by total stay nights. Then the required uh, car parking size, total of special requests, reservation status, and stays date. To start off, as well, uh, the package that will be used will uh, needed will be imported. So, as usual, pandas numpy method led to uh, have a plot and then see board warnings and then we use scaling for the machine learning. Random forest, also SGP, uh, and then encoders uh, for the binary encoding, um, <coughs> scalar, uh, and etc. We obtain the data um, using pandas. So here's the uh, looks of um, the tables. Um, we have 32 columns uh, to the right and 100,000, around 100,000 to, uh, to rows uh, going down. The types of hotel. So here's the market share, share of resort hotels, city hotels. So there's more city hotel in this data uh, compared to resort hotel. And then here's the percentage of the target. So 37, 37% of the data is canceled and 63% is uh, successful. So I would consider this as a balance, balance, data set is the month. Uh, so we can see that um, October, November, December, January, uh, looking at the trend has a lower, lower uh, bookings compared to May, June, July, August. August is the highest. Here's the year of booking. So the data set contains a booking from 2015, 2016, and 2017. And then a table is made from staying the weekend and staying week, uh, weeknights and to see uh, the frequency on which uh, day, uh, weekend, or weekdays uh, guests are staying. Here's the top 10 country of origin. So PRT as the highest, GBR, Great Britain, uh, second. Uh, market segment types. So on bookings are made mostly through uh, online travel agent. And second is offline travel agents. And then third is groups, groups booking. Uh, after the brief, brief context of the data. Uh, here's the data pre-processing. You know the types of data, a little bit info about the data using this um, 
uh, function. So it's a looping with a description and then we put it uh, in a data frame and we get a data feature, data types, uh, then null, how many null uh, among the rows and the percentage of the null, uh, unique values and unique sample. So as we can see, country has 488 uh, null value, children has four. 488 is only 0 0.41%, so it's a relatively low number. Then agent, uh, 16,000, which is 13%. And company has uh, 100,000, so mostly null value. So we would uh, probably drop this um, columns. Here's uh, the heat map to uh, visualize uh, on the null values that are present uh, in the data set. And checking the duplicated data, there are 30,000, but uh, 30,000 duplicated data. So here are the features that are nulls, only four four columns that has null values. Uh, we won't do anything to the duplicated data because uh, booking might overlap and it's fine. That we do a correlation, um, correlation of data as this has uh, two types of data, categorical and numerical, we uh, use two types of uh, correlation uh, function. So the simple one is the spearman, spearman here, uh, is only for numericals and uh, it autom automatically calculate the correlation of uh, target with uh, numerical data. While here, the uh, one line, one bar only is uh, the Kramer's V, um, Kramer's V correlation. So it specialized or it only does um, the operation on categorical data. And, here, as we can see, reservation status has uh, one correlation. Um, so we will drop this because it's obviously giving a, an obvious hint to the machine learning uh, machine learning algorithm that uh, the booking is canceled. Based on the correlation and association uh, done above, it has happened that our okay, week number of the date so it has the lowest uh, correlation score with the target. And also we'll drop 90% of the missing values, uh, columns with 90% of missing values, uh, and also columns that are not suitable for the model. So which company, because it has more than 90%. And then we drop, uh, drop reservation status, as, as I mentioned before. And re reservation state state because it's not suitable. Uh, and country, uh, there's uh, certain um, null values. And I fill the null values with uh, OTH, which stand for others. Then we'll drop the children as well. Uh, and agent, because both are. Uh, irrelevant and agent also is just uh, the unique values of each agent of uh, online travel agent or offline travel agent so it doesn't have any correlation with uh, the target itself there's the game is cancelled columns has already been in binary form zero and one yes and no it's, uh, and so we don't need to uh, input uh, this uh, columns anymore. So we just need to separate um, the target and the main data set. Uh, so we drop cancel, is yes, cancel, and make it as y, y variable. Yeah. And also we then we split the data, the uh, data to x train, x test, y train, and y test using train test split. 80% is a train size, so 20% is a test and random state, so to make it just uh, fix. Uh, here, I want to check the columns, uh, what type of um, 
all of this is it there it's an object or an integer because uh, in the after this we would use a pipeline to uh, to perform the model um, and we need to separate categorical and numerical uh, columns so the categorical uh, columns here are hotel arrival date month meal market segment distribution channel and reserve room type assigned room type deposit type and customer type the, the other are, are the numerical columns, but I put the num columns into uh, a comment because we won't use any uh, uh, pipeline, numeric pipeline to uh, scale the to scale the numeric columns. So, and we go directly to the categorical part and we encode uh, encode the categorical with one hot encoder. And then pre column transformer, uh, we also use a binary for uh, especially for country because it has too much, it has too much uh, unique values, one of unique values, and uh, it's imbalanced. Only like the top five has a lot of um, value counts, but the other is just uh, very low. So we need to use binary encoder. Uh, so the remaining just pass through. Uh, next, these are the pipeline. Uh, we'll go to another pipeline. In the three models we use um, decision tree and then random forest and XGB or XG boots. So here are the base model that is run through a def function uh, with a evaluation matrices and looping so after this um, function is performed or we obtain the um, matrix of the model itself the here is the result and as we can see uh, most of it uh, obtains a high value of accuracy uh, which is what we wanted, and RF, RF, plain RF or plain random force is the highest accuracy. Well, the test RF also have the highest accuracy, which is zero point eighty eight nine eight eight nine. And as I mentioned, uh, I would like to have a high value of recall and precision as well. And here. Um, all of them does well, but the highest the highest recall is in XGB and uh, RF. Uh, same goes to precision. So I would like to include that RF has a uh, good uh, does perform well in this uh, model, and because of this. We'll pick RF and SGB for further hyperparameter tuning. And here is a hyperparameter tuning. So uh, using random forest classifier as a model. So algorithm with estimators uh, using NumPy. Here's the parameters one till 100 with uh, step one. And then the depth, the depth. Um, the force is 100 to 1,000 with 20 steps, so 120, 140, 160 till 1,000. And then the leaves, leaves are three is uh, one till 50 using NumPy with one step, and the features with zero to 10 with 0 0.25 as a step. We start the randomized search. Uh, randomized search is used here because using a grid search uh, I used the grid search before and it's too heavy for the computer, so I don't have enough computational power to perform uh, this um, uh, this fitting and it took days or I don't know days or more to perform it. So I changed to randomized search, which totaling to a thousand hundred thousand five hundred fits when it is fitted, but 
research will perform 8,000 where it consume uh, too much too much time and and also too much computation and another one after we do the fittings we uh, use a def function of evaluation metrics to know the uh, accuracy and then recall position and f1 Here is the evaluation matrix. We uh, put in the function model and then the X value and the Y true value. And we put it in data, data frame here. Uh, and we obtain the result, which uh, shows that accuracy 0 0.86 and, and test and in training and then testing 0 0.855, which is lower than the previous one. And same goes to the recall and position. Uh, they have a lower value um, compared to the previous, previous um, model. We, I also take um, the XG boost, XG boost to be hyper, hyper tuned. Um, with here, here are the parameters with max depth, which uh, shows the depth of the trees, and then the learning rate and how fast the model learns, the algorithm learns, and then also the number of trees with these parameters uh, using NumPy again, and then the amount of the branches and gamma. So the bigger the number of the gamma, the simpler is the model. Also the Full sample by three, which is the feature amount used on every three, and also regular like regularization. So the bigger the number is the sim simpler the model. And then we put those uh, variable inside the parameter. And again, uh, we do randomized search uh, with the same reason as if I use the grid search. Uh, research uh, cross validation, and uh, it would be too heavy for the computer with eight, around 8,000 fits as well. And here uh, I'll do the same 1,500 uh, fits as it has the uh, same parameters as the random forest, which cross validation is three and jobs one, robots one, and with iterations of 500. And next, uh, after fitting, we go directly to uh, evaluation metrics. And we obtain from all of this, uh, all the functions, we obtain that it has a good accuracy uh, number. But uh, again, same, uh, the previous model, the first one has higher uh, value. And then we call 0 0.86 and XGB test 0. Uh, seven nine position zero point eight nine and uh SGB test zero point eight two. So to conclude everything, the first three fitting of three models XGB, random forest, and decision tree resulted in relatively good metrics. So the highest was done with random forest, uh, and the second one is done with uh, XG boost. Well, they all have a relatively high number, high value of training data sets, but with the test, uh, RF or random forest is the highest one. So, but these two models were picked to the future uh, for the tune uh, to obtain better result. However, hyper parameter tuning does not guarantee a better result. So, it resulted in a lower value uh, than the initial fittings. So, thus far, the first random forest algorithms without hyperparameter tuning is the best one that uh, we can obtain here. So the recommendations for uh, future future projects or future um, machine learning uh, machine learning projects, uh, there are several ways to improve the model on predicting hotel booking cancellations or any other uh, data sets. So the most important thing in building this model is the data itself. So that's why we need to have a better model, better data, I mean, 
uh, to have a better uh, model, a model. So here are the steps. Uh, although we have, it is like 30 columns uh, present in the data set, not all the features are relevant or correlated to the target. So more relevant and correlated features need to be added, uh, needs to be added to the columns uh, so that uh, it could uh, predict the target well. And uh, the unrelated features is there are 30 columns uh, should be dropped. Uh, features that are causing causing error uh, rather than giving patterns at the target. The tune models are resulting in lower evaluation matrix. Uh, and to improve this situation, different algor algorithms uh, needs to be tested. So uh, rather than using only three uh, algorithms, we uh, can use another uh, algorithm such as uh, maybe KN neighbors. And other than new algorithm, we could improve the current model uh, also by using another combination of hyper uh, parameter tuning, uh, taking into account the parameter use uh, suitable to the uh, current computation power or the uh, PC, uh, personal computer or laptop that is used to do, to perform the machine learning uh, project. And lastly, uh, save the I'll save the model uh, with pickle, uh, pickle, so that uh, I will need to um, rerun or re the, um, the algorithms to obtain the best uh, model or algorithms. So this is it. Uh, thank you, everyone, for listening. <laughs>